what's going on guys welcome back to the channel uh, hopefully in this video I want to take uh, one of my pickups and hook up to this trailer and I want to uh, get it back up in the shop here clean up in here a little bit get it back in the shop so that I can start working on the uh, the lighting system and whatnot it'll be a little easier in there uh, get a creeper and get up under there so to get that started I've got to get this uh, gooseneck coupler here that you see and uh, install it back on the trailer I've tried to correct the uh, the wallered out hole it's not as bad as it was I've got a, a little bit bigger pin here for that and uh, so I'm gonna take this out here put that back up in there and then we'll get a truck hooked to it I'm not going to worry about tightening that bolt up. I'll tighten it up later. We'll go ahead and hook the truck to it, but that bolt does need to be tightened up before the trailer gets pulled down the road. Uh, we're not, obviously not pulling it down the road. I don't have any brakes, any lights, don't even have any uh, oil in the uh, hubs or any of that. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. But uh, if you don't tighten that bolt up, that'll move up and down and it'll beat that hole out. That's what happened before. So, uh, Let's get the truck over here and get it hooked up. I have to get a new windshield wiper. Well, I've already got the new windshield wipers, but I haven't got them installed yet. I, uh, the windshield wiper on my 18 wheeler broke on the way home the other night. And I had to have a windshield wiper. So I grabbed the one off of this truck because it had the best ones on it. And uh, put it on the 18 wheeler. And then I ordered some more for this. So I've not got those put on yet. I guess we're not going to use this truck because this has a BMW hitch in it with the turnover ball and the ball has not been out and used in so long that I cannot get it out right now. I've tried uh, pulling this handle out and beating on the ball from the bottom side with a four pound hammer and I have not got it out yet. So it's going to need a little more persuasion. So I'm going to spray some penetrating oil on it and let it set and in the meantime we'll use the other truck.
right, guys, so this is the next day, and I finally got all of the uh, lights put in on this side. I don't know how well you can see that in here. But uh, anyway, we got everything on this side wired. Whoever wired this trailer from the factory did a poor job. It's got so many scotch locks in it. I hate those things. They lose connections, uh, lose connection whenever they get older. Anyway, uh, I went back and resoldered most of those. I still have a few that are making decent connection. I may go back and mess with them. I may not. But I've made it all the way from the front. Whoever's been messing around up there, the, the wire colors don't actually mean anything. I just had to follow them back. But I've made it all the way back here. The wire runs down this side of the trailer. I've made it to here. Uh, I've got to do from the reverse, or not the reverse, the license plate light and the uh, three in the middle there, this side, and then I back up this whole side right here. I finally got all of the, uh, the tires mounted up over here and over there. Got all that mounted up. Hadn't put them on yet. That turned into a pretty big ordeal in itself. Uh, these bars here, I think I found, I figured out, I think where, what I'm gonna do with these here, I think they'll fit in the front of the trailer up there in the, uh, the chain, uh, chain rack. I'll walk up here and see. I'm pretty sure they will. Let's see here. We can get under here. I think these guys will go right here in this chain rack. Because the chain rack opens, see so you hang your chains in there. But I think that these bars I made will drop right down in there like that. The bottom of there, I believe. Nope, not gonna close. Well, I thought they would anyways. Maybe not. Or maybe they need to be stood up straight. To go in there. Well. Okay, they will fit if I put them in there up and down like that. But I don't know how that's going to work if I need to put a bunch of chains up here. But I'm not sure I'll ever put that many chains in here, really. So it may not matter because there's plenty of slots. I could slide them all the way to one side and have uh, plenty of slots open. Let's see if I slide them all the way to the left. Like that, I still got one, two, three, four, five, six in that small one there. I'm not sure what the purpose of that small one. Looks like just, they cut it however that day with a cutting torch and that was the best they could do. I don't know what it looks like to me. But anyways, that'll work right there and then we'll be there. I probably won't need them much. I'll just leave the ramps laying like they are, laying flat. And uh, then if I do happen to haul something that is longer and I need to stand them up, uh, then I'll grab them bars out. But I'm gonna put the pins in, the ramps, and the trailer back here, right here. And I'll go ahead and put the clips on it. And I may throw a couple clips up there with the bars too. That way if some of these get lost or I lose some, I'll have a few extra clips. And the bars I'll never have to mess with. I always fold the ramps down like this unless I need to haul something long. Then I'll go get a bar, stand the ramp up that way. So that's what I got in mind uh, with that. And I guess I can go ahead and put the tires on and stuff. I may do that tonight. I've uh, changed out the, the hubs uh, caps here and uh, put some oil in it. I've moved it in and out of the shop. Uh, a couple times so I'll go back and check the oil level on all of them and top them off as needed um, I figured I'd do that before I put the tires on with the duals that way if you spill some oil it'll go on the floor there instead of inside the wheel and uh, so yeah anyway got to get that done um, I figured out I, I guess anytime you mount a different type of tire on a different type of wheel there's always a little different technique. And uh, I did figure out how to get it to go a little bit faster uh, than the way it was going. Uh, but it's still a pain in the butt and it would probably be money well spent to pay somebody if I'd have had a tire shop uh, that was open on Saturday. 
but I did not. So I made it there like 10 minutes before they closed when I got the valve stems and all that. But uh, my camera's going dead, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe if you hadn't already. We'll see you guys in the next video.